Welcome to, uh, it's Monday and today is we're taking a little trip I was gonna say within Europe but Ireland is no longer in Europe but we're gonna take a trip to our friends in Ireland with some Bailey's Irish cream um, and actually I shouldn't just say Bailey's because there's different brands uh, this is Kerrygold Irish cream uh, Bailey's there's lots of other brands but um, I saw a friend of mine Elizabeth Minkilli who lives in Italy she had done an Italian drink the other day on her Instagram live called the Shakerado, I believe, or Shakerino. Whoops. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Okay. <laughs> I think it's called a Shakerado in Italian. Um, and I'm doing something a little different. It's similar. When I first started doing these Instagram lives, I did a, oh, a chocolate frappe from my book, Drinking French, which is a cold French drink. It's a shaken drink. Um, there's a... There's three recipes. One has uh, chocolate, one is coffee flavored, and one has Irish coffee in it. And somebody, actually a couple people have made, um, there's a lot of noise here. Roman doesn't want to shut the window, but I'm thinking maybe we should. Super uh, fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, M. M Gorelick. I'm glad you like the books. Um, so, um, one thing that I discovered in France was Bailey's Irish Cream, and there's a little bit of a story to it. Um, shortly after I moved to Paris, I was contacted by this company that makes Irish Cream liqueur, and they wanted me to develop some recipes for them. And to be honest, I hadn't had it since I was probably um, in college, and maybe a little younger, um, so to speak. I think the statute of limitations has worn off. And I said, um, sure. Um, I would like to try using this stuff. I didn't really know what to do with it. So they sent me a few bottles to play with and I tasted it and I really liked it. I was like, oh, this is really good. I hadn't had it in 20 or 30 years. Um, and it was funny because I was talking to the publicist who was much younger than me, but well, not a lot, some younger. And she goes, yeah, me too. <laughs> she goes, you and I are like the target audience for this. Anyway, um, what I liked about it was that there's several flavors going on in the bottle. Um, I was having a meeting with the bigwigs and I kept saying, well, the coffee flavors are so interesting and they're like, there's no coffee in it. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I didn't hear them. Um, as usual, I'm always talking and not listening. Um, very French. And I said, um, I said, um, I, you know, the coffee, the Irish coffee, they're like, there's no coffee in it. So I was like, okay, so it's a chocolate liqueur with um, cream and Irish whiskey in it. And then I thought that it probably had some preservatives in it. And they said, well, actually, there's not a lot. There are not, there are not, oh, it's plural. There are not a lot of preservatives in it um, because the alcohol conserves it. Um, it was funny because I had these little tiny bottles and the expiration date says 2016. You can see the last time I drank Irish whiskey or Irish cream liqueur, I should say. Um, and there's a lot of talk about expiration dates being uh, not, they're just sort of there to give you an idea when something's expired. Um, but I thought when it came to something like cream, maybe I shouldn't drink these. So I went out and bought a bottle. Um, it was even on sale at the supermarket. It was like 12 euros. And I made one of these the other day to test this recipe. And it was really good. And then I made it this morning again um, to do another little test. Uh, but French people really like Bailey's. Of course, not everybody does, but I had a house cleaner when um, I was working on this, with some recipes, and she saw the bottle, and she's like, j'adore le Bailey's. And I was like, what? And she kept looking at my shelf, and she's like, le Bailey's, j'adore. And I realized she was saying Bailey's. So in French, you say, I'm going to get a French person here. Romano. J'adore le Bailey's. To him? Oui, et la bouteille est normalement beaucoup plus large. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so he said normally the bottle is much larger. No, ça va, c'est un promo. Oui, mais uh, d'habitude la bouteille est plus large, comme ça. Peut-être que they change plus, the bottle. He said it's plus, usually larger, but... Plus caractéristique. Oui, mais ça va. Uh, non, mais elle est super. Oui. Um, and somebody said you could make this at home. Um, and I looked at some recipes online today. And it's about the same price as the bottle, so I don't know. Maybe the stuff you... You make it. Someone said Buffalo Trace makes a bourbon li cream liquor. So someday I want to try that. But for now, um, there's no shortage of Bailey's 
or Kerrygold, um, and I love Kerrygold butter, Irish cream liqueur. Mm -hmm. um, so I bought this. Oh. So, oui, ça c'est le petit euh, café. Oui. Mm. Um, so one thing that's interesting, um, and I sort of call this, I think it's a shakerino. I think that's what I renamed it. Um, a friend of mine writes fiction, and he goes, well, it's great because nobody can point out if you've made a mistake because you've made everything up. So my next book is going to be fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna ah okay so this drink uses um, two ounces of Bailey's and I'm gonna use my Boston shaker to no he wants to know if he should take the camera uh, by the way if you're just tuning in um, I'm going to be making a Irish coffee or Irish cream liquor shakerino or shakerado. I guess <laughs> I haven't decided on the name yet when I, I'm not very good. Um, I just had a pretty long meeting with somebody and they, they were, they wanted to keep going and I said, I've got to do an Instagram live and they didn't understand that. So we'll figure out the name later, I guess. Um, but also Wednesday, I'm going to be at a store called A Rum, A apostrophe rum in Paris and the owner uh, Freddy is an expert on rum, which has a lot of connections to France. And we're gonna, Roman's gonna be there with me, and we're gonna be with Freddy at his shop, a rum store. And we're gonna learn about how to taste rum, what rum is, what makes good rum. And when I said to him, I want to talk about there being good and bad rum, he said, There is no bad rum, it's whatever you like. I said, I like you. So, Alexandre. Uh, Freddy, s'appelle. Ah, oui. Oui. We had dinner with um, Alexander Gabriel, who is a rum maker, rum distiller, um, and we had a lot of rum last night. So, so for each drink, I'm going to make two because Roman's going to get his own. Um, it's two ounces of liquor, Irish cream liquor. And I just use the, I know that that comes in all these different flavors now. Um, I'm just using the regular. Two. Two. Two four. Three. Two four four. So two ounces per per serving. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm. Tu veux goûter? No, no. C'est vrai? No, je préfère goûter le. Okay, so he doesn't want to taste. He wants to wait for the the real drink. So the next part is ice cream. Ah. De glace. Uh, this is from my friend Henri, who owns Glazed in Paris. Uh, he makes ice cream. He has a shop on the Rue des Martyrs. Mm. Um, and this is mascarpone. It's tiramisu ice cream. It's got biscuits in it, which the French call cake. Uh, usually it would be lady fingers. I'm not sure what he uses. There's chocolate and coffee in it, but it's mostly mascarpone. Um, and he delivered these during the confinement because he didn't like me not having ice cream. So it was very sweet of him. And I've been eating them, and they're really quite good. C'est bon. So, for each serving, I'm going to use one scoop of ice cream. Wow, two ça. So, one scoop. It's not huge. It's fabulous. <laughs> two. Two. Du personne. Right. I had a job scooping ice cream when I was in college. <laughs> And I had really good muscles here, but I kept pulling them. I kept having like weird uh, muscle pulls. So, for two people, two scoops of ice cream. The glass? Not yet. Did you put that in the sink? Okay, what's next? Okay, coffee. So I am using espresso, which I made in my mini, mini, uh, this is not a Bialetti pot, but it's a mocha pot. I did a really, I had a really fun uh, uh, video that I did with David Flynn of Belleville Brewery, um, which of course couldn't be saved because during the con Instagram had changed the way that they could do things. Anyhow, it was really interesting learning how to use one of these. Maybe I'll, now that we can save one, I'll do another um, visit with him. If you'd like, let me know in the comments. Uh, so for each one, I'm going to add about an ounce and a half of coffee. And I actually don't mind if the coffee's hot because it kind of melts the ice cream a little bit. And you can use decaf. Voilà. Okay. 
Tracy, hello. Just, I like to say hello to people. Hello in Poland. Trader Joe's has a house branded thing. Oh, that's good to know. Um, you can't stop eating candied peanuts and drinking rosemary gimlets. You like how can you do the gimlet romara? C'est vrai. Or, say. Il n'y a pas que moi. Wait, he said he's not the only one. Oh, you like my t-shirt? New, it's not new, it's actually kind of old. Um, hello in San Clemente. Yes, grandmothers liked uh, Bailey's Irish cream. <laughs> um, somebody, somebody, I said people of a certain set like Bailey's and it's older people. And since I'm in that category, I felt okay. Hello, Brad Parsons. Um, you looked good in your mask in your post today. Keep up the good work. And I can't wait to see you someday back in New York and we'll have drinks together. So I've got everything in my Boston shaker. Uh, I'm gonna add ice. Now, I don't think Margot is watching from combat and I still haven't learned to shake like her, but. Tu peux pas faire comme Margot. No, <laughs> he said I can't do it like Margot, I should do it like myself. So it's in my shaker, I'm gonna give it a smack to make sure I don't get it all over my old new t-shirt. Romance. Tu es prêt? Oui. See, I can't do that, how can she do that? <laughs> David is fascinated by uh, Margot, oui. and, uh, but it doesn't matter if he does it, because it's impossible to cook it. You want to really give it a good shake because you've got ice cubes in it, and I, I almost knocked my glasses <laughs> off. <laughs> you push that to the All right. Now these uh, shakers, if you get a Boston shaker, it can be a little hard to remove the top. So what you do is you want to hit it on the side and then yank the top off. Margo did it really easily. The top comes right off, see? And then you have chilled glass. I, I brought out the 1970s uh, or 80s glasses because Hmm. So I just, oh, okay. Well, you like He just took out one glass. Il y a deux. No, il y en a qu'un. Si, il y a deux. Mais je l'ai pas vu, j'ai regardé comme un fou. Oh là là là. Oh. Jean. <laughs> oh. Not bad. Tu es super. Now you can leave these like this, or you could take a little bit of cocoa powder. Um, oh my god. I actually won um, a round on Beat Bobby Flay on Food Network. Um, I made a cocktail and I rimmed the glass with um, ground cocoa nibs and Valerie Bertinelli and Alton Brown liked it a lot. So um, I haven't heard from them since and they don't return my messages. Um, I send one every day or twice a day. And that's been about a year, but <laughs> I was like, Valerie Bertinelli, quand j'ai fait la compétition à la télévision. So you could just put a little cocoa powder on top. Less is more, we're in France. C'est joli. C'est joli, oui. Look. Whoop. So wow. I don't know how you say, um, how to say cheers in Celtic, but if you've never been to Ireland, go. It's an amazing place. Tu aimes l'Irlande? J'aime beaucoup l'Irlande. The people were unbelievably nice and the food was great. Mm, delicious. And this Very is really delicious. It's really good. Je bon? préfère toujours le Gimlet, mais ça c'est le second. Second preference. He said he prefers the Gimlet, the rosemary Gimlet, but this is his second preference. C'est bon? Mm. It's good because it's not super sweet. C'est pas sucré. Non, ça va. C'est. Euh, J'avais mm. un peu peur de ça, mais c'est pas trop sucré. Mm. Et c'est it, euh, très. Euh, c'est très bon la glace avec. Oui, the ice cream. Ouais. So you can use. Uh, and I'm gonna type the recipe. I think I will put it. Here. Um, you can use any kind of ice cream. 
could use coffee ice cream, you could use chocolate ice cream, you could use ginger ice cream. I'm just gonna type it here so you can see it. Uh, let's see, two ounces. And I'm gonna just call it Irish cream liqueur because I don't want anyone to think I'm hawking stuff here. One scoop. Mm. Let's see, one and a half. Whoops. Mm. <clears throat> Shaken with ice. I made a typo. It's shaken, shaked. Okay, wow, got it. Babu. Oh. <laughs> wow, I love this. Mm. So this is a... <laughs> <We're drunk. laughs> he doesn't know how to use the thing. I always pass your compliments. Okay, whoops. Hi, Debbie. We had dinner last night. Um, did you sleep okay, I hope? A lot of rum. <laughs> I don't know why I made that funny uh, noise. Salted caramel ice cream, yes. Would be really good. Uh, wait, wait, was your body question? Um, yeah, any kind of ice cream would be really good with this. Um, vanilla, there's nothing wrong with vanilla. I always, whoops. <laughs> I was it's, it's that Irish, the Irish whiskey, the luck of the Irish, or the curse of the Irish, which, which you won't talk about right now. Quoi? No, j'aime beaucoup the Ireland. Um, I've always wanted to take him to Ireland, but you really have to drive when you're there, and il faut que tu conduis en Ireland, mais il conduit de l'autre côté de. But they drive on the other side of the street. Very difficult for me. Tu peux pas. Tu peux pas. I had a, somebody offered, I was a, doing a literary festival there and some, a local, he was my designated driver the whole, which sounds fancy, but he was just a regular person and cool and fun and great. He just drove me around. It was so great to have someone drive you and we talked and really nice people in Ireland. Jim Bukur, did you remember? Oh, he's asked, he said, is this Irish? We oui, it's got creme d'Irlande, Irish whiskey, whiskey de creme, produit d'Irlande. The problem with this drink is it's really good and you want to finish it. The other good thing about it is it's cold. C'est froid. C'est parfait pour le... Le canicule. Le canicule. The heat wave. Uh, <laughs> the... Ça, se boit, uh, ça se boit... En France, il y a une expression, on dit... <coughs> ça se boit comme du petit lait. Comme, le petit. comme du petit lait. Tu sais, le, le petit lait qu'il y a sur le yaourt. He's saying you drink this because it's ça, like the little ça. milk. Le petit lait, c'est quoi C'est le... Ça, ça veut dire que ça se la boit crème. crème ouais, la crème ou euh, le petit lait, euh, c'est la crème qu'il y a sur le lait. Et euh, c'est très facile à absorber. Mm, very good. Uh, <laughs> you finished almost. Okay. C'est grave. Yeah. <laughs> so Wednesday, we're going to be talking more about rum. We'll be um, with Freddie at his shop, and I hope that works out fine. You might have to break out your French dictionaries because um, we're going to be talking a little bit more in French than usual. I've been parlant en français avec Freddie dans le magasin du rhum. Tu aimes le rhum? Je n'aimais pas, mais hier soir j'ai beaucoup aimé. Mais c'est c'est. Debbie's listening. Yes. So he said he doesn't normally like it, but after last night where we tasted a lot of rum. From Jamaica. Oui, c'est très, euh, euh, très bon son rhum. Oui, le bois. Ouais, merci. Il est très très bon. Oui. C'était très bizarre de manger avec du rhum, mais euh, je mm. pense en Jamaïque on fait ça. So he said it was very strange to drink, uh, to eat with rum as an accompaniment, but maybe in Jamaica they do that. And je crois pas en Jamaïque. But like ah. cocktail people, people in the cocktail world don't usually like drinking cocktails with. Uh, meals, they usually drink wine or beer. Um, that's sort of my impression of people. I don't mind a cocktail. A Manhattan with a steak is mm -hmm. quite good. Or a martini. J'aime beaucoup les cocktails. Le gimlet au marin avec le homard, sandwich de homard. I said, Rosemary Gimlet with a lobster roll. I kept seeing a lot of lobster oh, rolls on um, Instagram yesterday and I was getting very upset because I didn't have one. And I look, <gasps> he's finished. <laughs> he won't let me lift the glass. Let's. This one. <laughs> so he liked it a lot to him. Is that 
Okay. Well, maybe we need to give it a French name. If anybody has any ideas for a French name, uh, let me know. It's not trademarked. Mais il y a quelque chose de tiramisu. Oui. De... It's like a tiramisu. What's that? I just watched this thing on voguing, and these guys had these amazing. J'ai vu le à Vogue à Paris. They, these guys were voguing in the Vogue office in Paris, and it was amazing their hands, what they did, um, and how they tell a story. Ils ont fait une histoire avec leurs mains. Okay, well, I won't Vogue for you because it's not my thing, and I wish it was, but um, I think I missed my calling. But one thing I didn't do well was kind of invent a good drink. So I hope you like it. Um, it's great for summer, and you'll have to get yourself a bottle of Irish cream uh, liquor. But if you don't have it, there are recipes online, and they use sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, and whiskey. So you have to buy those things. Um, I didn't mind buying a bottle because this is quite good, um, very good. So, so cadeau. Oh, that's it's a gift. He's like, thank you. All right, so we will see you on Wednesday, hopefully, um, at the usual time, I think six o'clock uh, Paris time. And I hope you enjoy this drink. Um, let me know in the comments when I post it, um, what, what you thought of it, and if you're gonna make it tonight or tomorrow or this week. Right? Yes. Tu aimes? Tu veux que je refasse ça une autre fois? No, I change it. Okay. He <laughs> <laughs> said, no, we have to change that, do another drink. Well, what do I have here? On va aller en Bretagne, on va peut-être faire un truc sur la mer. Okay, he said, we're gonna, we, we need to go to Brittany and have something on the ocean, so we're, we might do that soon. Uh, un bolet. Because we can't travel outside, we can't travel like we used to, so. Um, all right, and speaking of that, um, I hope everyone's wearing a mask. Uh, I hope everyone's taking care of themselves and others, because that's one of the wonderful things about humanity is we take care of ourselves and others. We all live together. So um, we want to make sure that wherever you live, um, wearing a mask is a good thing. I love wearing a mask. I have no zero qualms. I actually prefer to wear a mask because I can hide behind it and I can sing on the street. J'aime beaucoup la masque parce que je peux chanter dans les trottoirs. Je peux faire, oui, ça va. Aucun souci. Oui, c'est la... la, la, la... Le camping car uh, personnel. <laughs> yeah, it's like a personal camping car. It's like, okay. You could probably eat inside. Mais des choses à manger. All right. I will see you in a few days. Uh, have a good couple days. And merci beaucoup. Merci uh, de m'inviter pour ce happy hour. Okay. And thanks for joining. And thank you, Debbie, for the rum last night. Thanks, Brad, for repeating the ma uh, wear the damn mask uh, hashtag and a little story about why you should wear a mask. And to Henry, who makes wonderful ice cream in Paris. Your French. <laughs> he said he was inspired by my book, The Perfect Scoop, which was very flattering for me because mm. he's, he has his own ice cream company now, so. C'est comme un dessert, en fait. Yeah, it's like a dessert, mm. but it's finished. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> we both drank ours. Okay, bye -bye. see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>